Hi, this is Mrs. D. Decker here to show you how you're going to do your career exploration part two assignment. First of all, you need to have done part one to kind of get a little bit um, be interested in. And um, so here's what the first part looks like. And here's you would have your name and your first career choice, second and third. So given that, you would just look under these categories. So here I'm going to go into my part two and this is pretty much what it said in the, the first assignment so you can just skip right here you can watch this video which is what this link is for and you're going to refer to your choices from part one of your career exploration assignment to begin your research and feel free to check out beyond what you have in that first assignment um, if you find something else kind of interests you while you're on that on those um, exploration screens. So you're going to fill in two tables, two data tables initially, one called My Sources and one called Exploring My Career, and you'll put your career in there. So here are the two tables. So you got My Sources, and then you're going to have Exploring My Career. So basically, what you're going to do to start off this project is you're basically going to fill in these um, these tables. So you want to find out what the job responsibilities are. So first of all, um, and you can explore a couple of them before you actually decide on one and actually fill this table out. So here I'm going to go back to my sources table and I'm going to grab this. This is the first website you want to start with. So you just copy that or select and copy it and go to a brand new tab right up here and then just paste it right in the address bar up here and then press enter and you're you're thrown to this site it's the u.s bureau of labor statistics um, classroom site on exploring different careers so you can even go into these different areas based on what you think might be interesting to you. Like if you're interested in fixing things, you can just explore some of these. Um, see, there's like architect, civil engineer, um, carpenter. So you could explore any of those. If you like music or art, you can go into any of these. And then um, some of you expressed interest in sports, like being a football player well if you are looking to do that you would look under this professional athlete category and you can these are all like links to more information on each of these so I'm gonna go and see what it's like to be a lawyer so I'm gonna click on lawyer and I'm gonna go back to my table to see what information I need to actually um, put information about. So I need to find out what my job responsibilities are. But first I need to do the following. So I'm going to go back to this lawyers um, because there's actually a different website here. So I'm just going to select it and go control C and then I'm going to go to my sources table and bring it right down here and put it right here and um, what was it called? It was called Lawyer's um, Occupational Handbook Legal Lawyers. So I can actually just put occupational. Um, so I'm going to put that. And here I actually have this right here. I can actually copy that. Control V. And then on Lawyers. And oops. And I need to actually find the date of that to see when it was last modified. So I'm just going to scroll down and I see it was uh, September 1st. I can actually copy that and pop it right into my copyright or modified date. Um, and then the author is, let's see who the author is. Um, well, the author is the um, here suggested citation and actually gives it to you right here. Bureau of Labor Statistics would just be fine. So you can go back to your thing and under author you can just go Bureau Bureau of Labor 
statistics. Okay, so then, um, and if you need another row in here, you can just tab with your tab key and it adds a whole new row for you. Now going back to my lawyer information, I need to find out what my job duties are. So there's all kinds of tabs here with different information about your um, the occupation that you're looking at or job. So I need to find out what what are some things that they do. Okay, so what do lawyers do? And there's actually a tab up here as well. So you can just click right on there. And so they usually advise and represent clients and courts, pretty much this whole bulleted list. So I'm going to probably copy that whole thing. So I'm going to control C and they can also be other things as well. As I see below that, they show that they can actually be advocates and advisors. Um, they can do a lot of additional stuff, but if you have at least five or six, I'll be fine with that. Just enough to help you understand what, what this particular job does. So here it says communicate with their clients. So read through them as you're copying them into your your projects. So here, if you notice, it's starting to scroll off the page and that's totally fine. This is just a research slide. And now we want to get the skills needed. So you want to go back to your lawyers um, to become a lawyer. So that's the category that you would want to find out what skills are needed. Because here, if you scroll all the way down, um, you need some education and you also need other experience. But here, these are the qualities or skills that are needed. So analytical skills, interpersonal skills, research skills, and writing skills. So you want to copy all of those, those skills and put them right into your skills needed here. And then the next thing is education and experience. It's on that same tab. So you're going to be how to become one. You need some education. Usually takes around seven years of full-time study. It's quite an um, arduous uh, amount of schooling that you need. And then here we have a bachelor's degree. Um, here, we'll just grab these two for now. If you're interested in more of the um, this, this AJD, you could select that as well. Um, but I am going to go in and I'm just, just control B because it takes about um, seven years. And then um, you also need other experience, part-time jobs kind of help you get there. Um, yeah, so let's go back here. Now the professional outlook. Um, actually, this should say job outlooks just to make it easier for you to find on the screen. Um, so the job outlook would be we're going to scroll and look for job outlook. In the job outlook here, there's a lot of stuff under job outlook, but you could just grab at least this first paragraph to give you an idea and then copy that right into here. And now finally, you're going to be able to write a little bit about why you like this career and why you believe you're qualified. Maybe it goes back to some of these other skills that were mentioned previously, like maybe you're a good problem solver, um, you're good at speaking or writing. So you would just write in your own personal words why you like this career. And then once you get that done, now you have pretty much the meat of what you're going to use for creating the rest of your slides. Now you need to put your actual career up here. So you would put lawyer and then you put your name in here. So I'm putting Mrs. D. Decker. 
so you would put your name there and then now you have pretty much the meat of what your slides are going to be. So going back to the second um, part of the assignment, it says now you're ready to create the presentation. So for your first slide, you're going to actually just have your first and last name and your grade level and a picture of a person doing the job you are researching or at least be dressed like it. So you're going to this here. Um, we put in some pictures of what looked like lawyers. Here's President Obama actually speaking before some lawyers. And then um, she put her the actual name of the career she was researching and here's her name. And then the next part, slide two, you're going to say what the job is like. And this was just what we were um, researching so you can easily go back to your table and just put these job duties that you just already copied and then put them into the second slide so you could just put it right in here and put those in there and then the next slide is how to prepare for the job now you want to do well in school of course, but you want to also um, make sure that you have the schooling necessary. So you would want to go on how to become one and then get the education. You probably want to grab the same stuff that you already got in your research. So basically these slides should go along with what you have here. So here we're going to copy this and put it into that slide. There you have it, but you want to make it look halfway decent, so just make sure you get most of the bullets. Otherwise, just try to, in your own words, try to reduce some of the text if it's too wordy and put it kind of in your words because you you would be the one who would actually present this. And then the next slide would be slide four. What does the future look like? That's the same as job outlook. So if I go back to my original slide here where we had entered the job outlook, we can grab that, copy that, and put it into the future. And control V. So, and it's okay to just have that one line. Um, and then the next thing you want is what does the job pay? So now you'd have to go back. This isn't in your table. So you'll have to go back here and look for the tab on pay. So the median annual wage for lawyers, here you go. You're going to copy this. You can even try and copy this little table if you like. So control C and then control V. Oops. Actually, since that kind of came in kind of yucky, you're going to probably try to do it in two steps. You probably, I'm not so sure the actual table will be able to be copied. You might have to actually type it in. Um, so if you go back to this, you just go control V and then you'd want to see if you can paste in that table if possible. Let's see if it lets me. Otherwise you can just type them in. Like you say, federal government and these are the values etc and then go into your actual file oh it looks like it kind of let me do it okay so we just have to clean up how this looks though um, let's see it's kind of messed up though <laughs> um, so you got to kind of drag it down so then 
there you have it. You have your, these are the different jobs, um, like federal government, $144,000. And these are yearly figures. Um, so these are what they make each year. Um, and then the next one is what qualities do I have for this job? Now this is where you put your personal things and this was what this person put. They said I can be very persuasive and stating fact and stating opinions. Once I start something I have to finish and actually we would want this to be um, and then I am very logical and I use theories to prove logic. I will argue just about anything to prove a point to help someone out or just get justice and equality. Oh, that sounds nice. And then the last slide is what other jobs are similar to this job? So if you go back to the lawyer screen or your occupation, you can click on this tab called similar occupations. And what you can do is you can actually just look at this. Um, I mean, you can copy maybe from here. Like here, arbitrators, judges, paralegals, post-secondary teachers, instruct students. So any of those. So you could just pick like three or five, three to five of them. So here I would just put arbitrators maybe. And then the judges, I don't know if I can just select all of these. See, it kind of gets messy, so you don't really want to do, you want to just piece, take piece by piece here. You could just take those and then pop them in. Like he, this person actually looked at the data and figured out, oh, you could actually be a president, which is excellent that they thought of that. Because you can, many of our presidents are actually lawyers um, in their first jobs. So then, um, yeah, judge, paralegal, so then she put them all in there. And then once you have this last slide done, then you're done.